Richard. Beautiful day. Good morning all. So it's the same day for me as it was yesterday. So the big spring clean has started. So let me just sort of show you what's been going on so far. Stuff I haven't actually filmed. Cleaned Dan's two wardrobes out, cleaned and sorted it out. Did my wardrobe. I've done these wardrobes. Oh, um, I did the cleaned the shower area. I've cleaned all the back of this, hoovered round the back, changed the toilet seat, give the toilet a whole deep clean. But all this still needs deep cleaning and sorting, so I haven't done that. What else have I done? Finally got rid of my handbags and rubbish that was always sat there in the corner. Sort of sorted a bit out in the front. I can't really do much with that. Um, and that sort of belongs on the bed. And this belongs there and we like to have our bat. So the shoes need sorting. So my plan is, not today, but maybe tomorrow. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> is to do this side of the van first, from the kitchen all the way down to the cab. Big, deep clean, wash all the walls cupboards everything so I've just noticed I can hear the fridge um, it's just come on so that's I don't know if the electric has gone off site because we don't have anything put on nope so I'm gonna have to turn the fridge off then because there's no electric I wasn't expecting that. Right, so what am I up to today? So I've done quite a bit. I've, I've got sort of dinner in here ready to go. Dan's having those. It's like this posh chicken, but I'm, I'm not quite sure what it's called. Oh, is it on now? Yes, it's on now. I'll just put that back on. Dan's just going to go and empty the toilets. And then anyway, you put this cheese and this tomato -y sauce palm it's called palmy granny chicken or something it looks nice it's one of the like the tesco's finest select selected finest or whatever yeah so i have i haven't actually stopped actually but i feel like i have to do something you know each day even if it's just each day because it's getting beyond the joke now this corner down here near my bed all needs sorting out so I've brought a rubbish bag in, but I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do. I'm getting a bit oh, now. So stuff like this needs to go out in that overflow. What is this? Um, a couple of makeup brushes. Them. Don't like them. What, what are they called again? Makeup. I forget what they're called, but I, don't, I can't get on with them. Um... So I did buy a load of these last year. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there's Dan's King's hat look. <laughs> this is what he then wore to, 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 to uh, Tunisia. I do want my um, cami one now. I do like the cami one. I might keep the lie look. Because that's quite pretty. I'll donate them because I've got a big charity bag as well because I cleared out these wardrobes down below. I've now got a massive... Oh, deep cleansing nose strips. Oh, I haven't used them for... Oh my gosh, there's loads. Oh, I'll have to give that a go, won't I? I'll have to remember they're there. Let me take a few out. <laughs> I can stick some on now. Yeah, why not? Let's stick some on now. do this then go into ideally you want to wipe your makeup off <laughs> is that one is that actually one how does this work <laughs> I can't remember how to take the sticky stuff off it is one these were quite good if I'm totally honest I can't remember how to do these do I have to wet them to use follow wash face well I'm not bothering doing that dry hands then open packet 
and peel the strip from the plastic bit yeah and use opened packet promptly so strips yeah apply to the strip to the moist so is it just like that I can't remember I can't remember so I won't be doing that at the minute this is what happens to me and then I just go off topic and just leave them then <laughs> right what's that why is that shoved in there oh I see it's, I don't feel like I can really sort this out there's not there's not much in here that I can I've thrown away quite a lot of rubbish today oh this green tea stuff <laughs> what a load of nonsense yeah that was an absolute load of nonsense oh there's my um right so I need those I'll put them away properly I do have some spare ones as well see I keep buying extras things so I'll throw them away all these headbands I haven't used oh now I might keep a black and the light pink because that might be nice then for the summer uh, this is my old headphones I think that's gone I'll throw that away and a bright pink and a yellow all right I might have to keep those as well <laughs> what's this oh a blush stick do I really did Actually, that's quite nice. Just a bit sort of sticky, I want to say. S sort of. I don't think blush suits me. I've never ever worn blush. So I'll throw that away. These are good, aren't they? Is this a good one? Yep. So I need those. I'm going to need all this stuff, really, aren't I? Just throw some rubbish away. It's rubbish, then it can go. Oh, there's me other now far varnish polish. Just bought one off Amazon. Oh, that's annoying. What's that? Oh, that's really dark. That's that um, infillable stuff, in it. What was this for again? Contouring, was it? <laughs> oh my god that's embarrassing isn't it well, I can't even wipe that off yet let me wash my hands Yeah, so I'm getting there with the spring cling and unfortunately that's all that's going to be the videos um, from now on for a little while because I do have a lot to do what's that dry oil it's like an oil if I even use that I think I was given this was I see what that looks like well it's not meant to do it look like anything is it I think I'll just skip that one and this I pulled out the other day didn't I it's miasmas pumps oh that's not where that belongs now right right so I think I've organized that I'll keep those I'll keep those they can go in the charity bin and I've got more of those put them back in there because I can't be bothered <laughs> right what else have I got to sort out right so I've got these hair bands that I found down there that's a pair of gloves that I need this is I need that this I've never used this yet and I've been dying to use this I might bring this on holiday you know when it's really light <laughs> I don't want to take it off the packet yet though. It will just get all destroyed, won't it? Me bag. I actually bought this for um, Christmas to go out Christmas Day. Might donate that one. I've already donated some purses and stuff like that. In the charity bag. Right, what else have I got? 
got this, my jawbreaker. I suppose that can go in there. The thing with it being so big, I don't pull it out to do my eyeshadow. So it's a bit of a pain really. And now it's going in here, it'll probably stay in there as well. But yeah, we're gonna be wearing these again this summer. <laughs> like those. Um, what else have I got? I can just do bits by bits. A lot of these need washing, but if I can put them in there, then they're out of the way. I like stuff like this now. I won't get rid of that though, my blackhead remover. <laughs> Got some hairy bits there, all boxed up, ready to. Oh, yeah, that's the McCurler, isn't it? Yeah, I want to try that soon. Properly again. Oh, that's another one, look. I do have another one. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to bring one of them on holiday then. Oh, that's so pretty. I got um, gifted those. See, I have a basket down here, basically. And I'm trying to sort of clear things out of it. <laughs> because it's hard getting in, in and out of the bed. Right, let's put those where they belong. Yeah, all this toilet area needs doing desperately though. Eyelashes, no, that don't belong in there though. Shoe deodorizer, why is that in there? Now that's off something, isn't it? And I can't think what. My tooth thing. I think I'm going to do away with the magnetic eyelashes. I've got a funny feeling. That, oh no, I don't know. That maybe this pen don't work. I don't know. But I've got too many eyelashes. I do prefer the stick on ones. Don't get me wrong, the magnetic ones are good actually. More eyelashes. Bigger the better for me. <laughs> Good morning. So it's been a couple of days, I think, since I've been on. My job this morning, I've given my job myself this job this morning, is to start removing the rest of these and getting it all nice and tidied up. I have got quite a few off already. All over the floor once again. But yeah, this is my little job this morning. Dan's watching football, one o'clock I think, so. Today is going to be a short day. I wanted to do all the cleaning and stuff, what, what washing down all the ceilings and stuff. But he was—I don't think he wanted me doing that on his football day. So I'm going to crack on and get on with this. It's a bit of a job. I haven't put sprayed nothing on it. I find that's just the best way. As long as you can get the glass tiles off first and then deal with the underneath afterwards, that's the easiest way I've been finding it. You literally have to take one glass square off at a time. <sighs> My hands are getting cut up again now as well. <sighs> so my last night's fit went on last night. My ironing, I'd actually done that weeks ago when I was doing all Dan's shirts and stuff. So quite a few clicked on that, knowing exactly what the video was going to be about. So I really appreciate that, thank you. So my goal, if I can just get, I, there was a little bit all up here, so if I can just square it off here, I'll be happy today. Although this bit should be the easiest bit really, this is just awkward, but it needs doing at some point, doesn't it? So I may as well just, may as well just try and get it done. I do have a new blade actually, but I'm finding this one is probably a bit too sharp. It is a job. I'm actually going to save that sharp blade anyway to get the foil off at the last, at the end, because I think that's going to be better for that. And I trust myself now with this one. It's a little bit blunt. <laughs> So 
So I do have still lots more to do. Um, lovely Katie yesterday came up with some um, gifts for us both. So I've, I've got some new sponges now, including sponges, bless her. So I really need to sort of crack on with that and wash the whole fan down. I'm getting there. I am getting there. Little bit by little bit. Not everything I'm filming, so you're you're not aware of everything I've been doing. I don't even know if Dad knows what I've been doing. <laughs> well, I've accomplished my first bit of this task. So I've come all the way down there. There's a lovely dead straight line now. Foil needs obviously peeling back, but that's left with the tiles now. So I am more than halfway through, aren't I, doing all that? Surely, let's have a look, let's stand back. Yeah, I've done all this and I've done all this as well. Yeah, not too bad, but it is getting tougher. These see-through-ishy ones, the whitey ones, I want to say, if you can see them, are the easiest ones to get off. So I don't know if that's where damp's gotten behind it, but then saying that, damp wouldn't have gotten behind this one, so. Maybe it's just wear and tear, I don't know. So I'm gonna have a little break. My knuckles are killing me a little bit now. <laughs> Shards of glass everywhere. Got a hell of a mess now to tidy up. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually still crack on with this for a little bit. I'm just gonna have a little bit of a break first. Right, that's me done. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. My hands are really sore now. So I'm gonna pick the majority of this up before I hoover the rest. It's all in my slippers everywhere. So I've gone over quite a bit more. All this silver here has been removed because they were like the looser ones. If you see like the see-through ones just sort of come off. So they came off sort of quite easy, but it does then leave that backing still on there. So anyway, so about a two hours good worth of work there and I still haven't cleaned up yet. So I'm just gonna clean up. I do have some cupboards that I still need to go through, so whether I get around to that or not, I don't know. But let me clean up. <laughs> and good morning! So it's been quite a few days. Just been shopping. So Dan today has got a Charlie Bigham, we used to call them Binghams, Charlie Bigham chicken tikka masala curry rice basically. But I wanted to try out and do Dan some potato skins you know like with the bacon and the cheese and stuff so at the moment I've got um, some Jackie's on the go in there and I'm just cooking the bacon yesterday was the first time I cooked bacon in that in an air fryer come out perfect Dan loved it it was so nice and it even got all the fat all crispy as well if you like that <laughs> so what have I been up to I've been up to loads I haven't actually stopped um, neither of us have actually quick battery change sorry about that yes so what have we been up to well i have cleaned everything in here the only thing that needs cleaning is the neck curtains and i want to give my box a wipe as well but every inch of this bedroom bathroom toilet everywhere has been cleaned all the walls windows everything um i had been cracking on with these been doing a bit more as you can see I'm, I'm leaving the foil and stuff to the last so I'm not down to too much um, tiles left on that actually just across there and then sort of across there go all oh, this has come off as well so that's not many on there I've been doing there's been days I've been sitting there for an hour or two there's been days I've been sitting there for half an hour if I do a little bit each day then I feel happy but I have to give my knuckles a rest at the minute so I'm not able to do any at the minute my knuckles are a mess <laughs> so what I've done in there with the shower toilets everywhere and all the walls ceilings and all that has to be done now from here onwards but I haven't really got time because we're actually going to be going away so looking forward to that um, so don't think I personally will be filming on the Mazzy channel, it will be on the Travel Trolls. And even then saying that, I think like we just want to go away, have a bit of a break anyway. So if we film, we film, if we don't, we don't. 
So we've also been doing a lot of cleaning and stuffing, not cleaning, but sorting through in here, ready for the deep clean. Um, don't get me wrong, there's still lots to do in here. <laughs> but I've been decluttering, I've been getting rid of things, I've, been, I've actually decluttered all my jazz up there. Um, so yeah, as long as uh, this curtain's driving me mad, it's been that like that for so long now. <laughs> it's just a matter of pulling the string and fixing it, but I'm feeling like no, I'll do that when I get round to it, round to it, into this room. Yeah, so this room's going to be the worst. I did order some oven cleaner on Amazon, so that should be coming. Oh no, good job I did order that actually, because that that's going to take another quite a few days to arrive, Mr. Muscle because when I say a deep clean, I want to, to deep clean like I did in there. Did everything, washed everything in there. Except for the bedding, actually. The bedding needs changing. Although it's not dirty as such, it's, you know, it's fine. So that's all I've been doing, really. I've been so busy that I haven't actually picked the camera up, not even on the Travel Trolls. So sorry about that. I will try and film uh, me doing the tater skins today. But then that's about it. I'm going to have to wrap this video up. I don't even know how long it is because I haven't edited edit it, it yet. Edited it, edit it yet because it's been quite a few, this has been going over course for quite a few days. And it's absolutely freezing today. I'm, who's getting down with this weather? It's just miserable and horrible. Oh, we've got a pheasant over there. I don't know if you're going to see it. Yeah, so it was nice to actually just get off the campsite today, even if it's just going shopping. Dropped a massive bag load of clothes to the charity bin. Uh, the plan was to go to, um, it's not the scrapyard, what's it called? The tip, the dump. Yeah, but we never got round to, no, that's not, that wasn't open today, sorry. So we couldn't do that either. So yeah, it's just us focusing now on just preparing for our little break away. So looking forward to that. I will be filling the uh, jacket potatoes up with um, cheese and bacon. That's had about 20 minutes now. Oh, they turned out lovely as well. I did them sort of properly, properly in there yesterday. I started it off on the bake and then I finished it off on the air fry. So that turned out really, really nice. But definitely was an hour. I might have even done a little longer. Now I've only got two bits of bacon to stretch for all that. All this fat down there, that's going to crisp up, trust me. <laughs> that's going to crisp up. So I've only got, I actually got two slices of bacon for them. But I did then also buy like a garlic and herb a dip to go with it as well. These are nice. The Pizza Express is a uh, pizza company. They're really nice. And just got some cheese to go on top. Who, who doesn't like potato skins? Like Dan's having the curry, but I know Dan well he'll nibble at them all night. Jacket potatoes aren't quite ready yet. Still got half an hour-ish. The bacon is, I actually put the bacon on. Now I know Dan would prefer that a little bit maybe crispier, but because it's going on skins, I don't really want it too crispy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's it for that one. So, I'm going to start chopping that up. Now, I haven't got a bowl. Sorry, you have to excuse me for a minute. <laughs> I haven't got a bowl and I'm going to have to use a saucepan. So, if I get that chopped ready, I'm going to go and wash my hands first. It honestly is looking so much brighter in that bathroom now, now that the tiles are off. <laughs> right, so I'm going to need a scissor and a paper plate. Do, do, do. Yesterday's bacon I did do a lot more crispier, but that's fine today. Um, there we go. Alright, let's bring it down. Sorry, I was just trying to get my head, wrap my head around it. Right, so I want this quite small, really. Into little squares, preferably.
And I haven't got real chives, so I'm just going to be using, not fake are they, but they're um, jarred. I was a bit worried that I weren't going to have enough bacon, but you know what, I think I'm going to. So what I'm going to be doing basically is pulling the potato out of all the skins, stick the skins back in to crisp up lovely, and mix all the filling in here and then fill the potato skins back up. chopped up. I'm sure that's going to be plenty. Add some chives into that. a bit of cheese. So I'm just waiting now for the potato and give that a good mix through. So my jacket spuds have actually had a little bit longer. So let's just check if they're okay. Oh that's a big bad boy. So what I need to do is scoop, scoop these out like that's crispy already. So I'm going to need a spoon get it into my saucepan. I have made these a few times in the past. So they're probably cooked through anyway. This is going to be hard because these are going to be hot. God, these are hot. I'm going to have to use my fingers. I've actually broke that one now. Never mind. Still a good shell. So that needs to go back in. Crisp up. Oh, that's hot. Perfect shell. <laughs> potato skins. They're big potato skins. They will be, yeah. I was limited on potatoes, have you know? So I've got the potato skins even crispier look. Look how crispy they are. So I've made two up already. I'm now just putting the filling in, mix the filling up all together. And then sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. And then on top of that, just a tiny little bit again, a bit of chive. And this always goes well with like um, sour cream sort of sauce. Oh, what's the one I got Dan? I can't remember what's the one I got Dan. Uh, garlic and herb, that's nice as well. So yeah, I'm gonna just bake these for a few more minutes then in here just to get the cheese then all melted on top and we'll get Dan to try them. He's gone down to go and see if he can um, get my Amazon parcel first. <laughs> so we'll have to wait for him to come back. These have come out so crispy and wonderful. I think Dan's a little bit nervous. He was getting a bit worried in case he wasn't still getting his... Um, I've had to use my hands. <laughs> um, in case he wasn't still getting his curry. So it looks like I'm going to be left with a, quite a bit of mashed potato left, actually. I So what I added to that also was a little knob of butter, um, sprinkling of salt, and a few more chives. 
and as for everything else it seemed to be just fine so that should be enough maybe just a tad little bit more it's because there's extra filling in them now isn't there got this little bit left let's see if we can squeeze that into the biggest one mm. it's about enough for that one let's get them in the air fryer mm. I'll top this last one up with it potato skins you can't beat them can ya <laughs> are they all going to go in here? I don't even know if they are. Yeah, they will. Right, let's get a bit of cheese on top of those. Bring you over. You don't have to be looking at me anymore. So I don't know if I'm actually going to put this video up tonight. It might be tomorrow. So we'll see. Lay flat. I need the cheese to be melted on top of here. There we go. And this one needs to be a bit more flatty as well. All right, there we go. That'll be enough. A little tiny sprinkling again of chive on top of these ones. Goes with the look. Makes them look posh. All right, let's just pop them in. And all we're really doing now with these is just it don't matter I'll just stick it on you can toast them if you wanted to but I'm just they're only going to take a minute or two right let's take a quick look oh okay just a little bit more in the meantime this is the curry Charlie Biggums chicken tikka masala and killer rice and I'll be doing that in there I'm hoping I can do the rice in the microwave so I can at least then keep the potatoes in there keep them warm let's have a look so it doesn't say I can do that in a microwave I really don't know why seems strange um, unless if I'm reading it wrong so what I'm going to be doing with that is putting foil over the top of that And I'll have to do it in here then, in the actual. So if I do the curry first, do that first. All right, so let me just turn it all off because I know what I'm doing then. <sighs> turn it back on. Turn the right on. No, left and right. Um, right, air fry. How long did that say? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And I'll just leave that as that. And let's go with that. So for the purpose of the vlog, let's see if Dan likes these. Let me get out a small one. No, I'm going to give that a few more minutes. Get the cheese all brown. Right, are you ready to try one of your potato skins, darling? Gotta try it with the dip as well. Uh. No, you sit down, I'll bring it over. <laughs> Silly. You can hardly walk. Right. I'll give him that one. Probably a bit too cheesy, these actually. Hey, yo. Here we go. Now they're going to be quite filling because they are quite big. <laughs> I'm still getting my curry, aren't I? Yeah, it's hot as well, so be careful. Ah. Ah. I gave you a nice sharp knife. <laughs> I've been a bit cooler. Cool down very, a little Very, 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 very hot. Yeah, you've got a bit of skin on your lip. 
There you go. No. No. There you go. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't want to fill up on it. Right, he's, you heard it. He just said it's beautiful. Right, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. Like I said, it might not go on tonight, so you might get this vlog tomorrow. Right, going to love you and leave you and see you on the next. Take care. Love you all. Bye.